What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode two of Draw School. I missed you. Hopefully you guys downloaded the template I provided from the last video and have been practicing how to draw the face in proportion. On this episode, I'm going to expand on that and teach you guys how to draw the head in proportion, but in different angles. Ooh. So let's get to it. So if you guys remember how we broke up the front view, it was the circle, line in the middle, find the halfway point, which is the eyes, find the halfway point between that is the bottom of the nose find a halfway point between that which would be the mouth there's tricks where you can find things like the middle of the eye will be the corner of the mouth like so and using the eyebrow and the wings of the nose to find out where your ears go and of course the V for the chin and all that good stuff for the other angles you can always start with the circle or the dome as I like to call it now there's really no side of the face or no middle of the face line because the middle of his face or the front of his face is technically here, right? But you can do a line now for where his jaw will go, which is a little skewed off to the left or the right, depending on which way he's looking. So he's looking this way right now. So the line will be a little bit more skewed off to the left in this case. But what I want to want you guys to focus on is the V part, how we draw the V on this head. It's a little different for the side. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So now you found the top of your head, right? The bottom of your chin. So your eyes will fall here for a side view, right? And you find the middle of that, get your nose, find the middle of that, and you got your mouth. Okay, so we started with the circle for the dome, the box, find out where the eyes go. You can still do the trick down the eye to the corner of the mouth. And you can also do the eyebrow, top of the eyebrow, top of the ear, to the wing of the nose. Now, this is where it switches up. So the V technically starts here after you draw the box. Now, why, why did you draw a box? On the side view, your face pushes out at the nose. After your brow, it tucks in a bit. And then your nose comes out. So if you can picture that triangle, that same triangle that we drew for here, picture it poking out. Because noses usually poke out. A little more sometimes, a little less sometimes. Depends on the person, right? And then the mouth goes here. Under the nose, the top of our lips that starts here, and then it goes in to the mouth. And then the bottom lip kind of goes out again, in for the bottom. And then the chin goes out again, and then in. So we kind of just had like a Rocky Mountain thing going on. It's just like bump, 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 bump. We made a box now to know where everything's gonna go. And the V is kind of angled this way now. And then we got the bump, bump, bump there. The eye will go here. The middle of the eye goes down to the corner of the mouth. Yeah, and this line goes there. Perfect. Perfect. And then the neck connects right there and usually right here there's always a little space between the chin and I say sometimes because it's not always the case different people have different chins and different situations going on in that region that is usually the side view right there guys and let's move on to da, 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 da. three quarter of you guys same thing the dome this one you can for sure use the v there's the v right there only difference is you're sloping it upwards more than this for the jaw and it stops right before the back of the skull so you know real quick front view side view three-quarter view see so far like so you see how now I'm curving the line. It's not gonna be a straight line anymore because we are drawn in 3D space. Top of the head, bottom of the chin, middle of that is the eyes, middle of that, bottom of the nose, middle of that, mouth. The eyes will go here, split those in half, corner of the mouth, split those in half, corner of the mouth. Eyebrow, top of the ear, bottom of the nose, ear. Clean that up so you have the eye, and uh, 
Why is the eye smaller now? What is going on? That's because from this point on, it gets a little bit more tricky. I gotta teach you guys about perspective real quick. So, bonus lesson on perspective. Here we go. Let's say this is a horizon and this is a road. How is that a road? Okay, so if you're going sideways on a road, the lines are gonna be parallel. They're never going to cross into each other unless they build a really bad road. They're never gonna do that, right? But when you're looking at things in the distance, they will look like they're going into each other. But really, the width of this road here is the same as the width of this road here. These are mountains in the distance. This is a road from where you are to where you gotta go. Looks like that. So we have uh, electricity poles, right? On Route 66, they would look kinda like this as you draw them as they're going off into the distance. They're getting closer and closer together because they're all converging into that point. Why am I telling you this? Because your face, your face is also in perspective. In all cases, there's always a convergence or, or a little point in the distance where your features are all, have to follow the rules of that. So this eye is here and this eye is here. If you keep drawing eyes down the line, they would go like this. Cause these ones are going off into space. And these ones are, are closer. So now that's a whole entire different lesson right there. But basically it's perspective, seeing things in distance, like the further they are, the smaller they look. And this happens in your face right so perspective you got to take perspective into account when drawing in these next views because your your face is angled a little bit here right when you're drawing it just front facing you can't see any of the sides here or here or here right when you're drawing like this then you have lines that go places hey and there's my minecraft character all right so now we have the middle for the nose, which goes out. We all know noses go out, right? And three quarter. Let's put that guy back. Hopefully you guys got that. Don't be afraid to leave me any comments if you didn't. And I will clear things up in further episodes. All right, moving on. Looking up the hardest angle to draw for me Please always use a reference for this. Please always use a reference. I have made disasters before trying to draw people looking up. <clears throat> so here we go. The dome. Most of the face will be inside of the dome now. What you're seeing is if somebody were to turn your head like this, that's what you're seeing. Somebody looking up. So it's like you turned your face upwards like that now you can see the bottom of your chin the bottom of your nose and your ears are in a different spot now things have just gotten crazy all right so let's figure that out and why it's like that so again you move your eyes eyes up and now it's a curved line like this because it's no longer a front view the middle of the face is here and your chin is here eyes are here now they're more like side ovals your nose is a triangle that you can see into because the nostrils are here you can still use this trick cutting the eyes in the middle corner of the mouth corner of the mouth but your chin is kind of doing this weird shape like this and you can really see the bottom of it in shadow usually this guy is really well lit the reference so it's not really in shadow but usually lights coming from the top so the bottom of your chin would be in shadow you would see a lot of comic book artists 
draw. If they were drawing this angle, it would be just black right there. And the neck would attach there. Now, like I showed you guys when I drew the little thing that I erased, so it doesn't matter anymore. The ears moved because when you move the head, the ears move down. Because technically, this is still that line. So it's still half, it's still half. So the best advice I'd give you for this one is make sure you're looking at reference. Make sure you remember that the ears are gonna fall in a different spot than usual. So don't try to draw them here because that, <laughs> that's not gonna look right. Um, yeah, and the chin is gonna be the most awkward thing to draw. So pay attention to that in the reference. Make sure you got it correct. And I would teach you about the eyes and how they look in this angle, but that is gonna be on another video. Perfect. Looking down, here we go. We have the dome. The line going down the middle, chin, middle of the face, still the eyes. And here, the nose now. So if originally you would put the nose here in the middle, now you gotta give it a little bit more space because what you're seeing is the base of the nose where it attaches to your face still stops there. But because the nose goes out from the side like this, here's the nose. Because it goes out, when you look at it from the down view, this point right here is this point right here. It kind of overlaps the mouth now. Now the mouth is a lot closer to the nose and your V is a lot more narrow. And again, your ears move up. So your eyebrows are here. Usually your ear will be here because you're facing down. And now you have your hairline curving like this around the skull. And that is looking down. Okay guys, so now I am going to grab a reference and I am going to draw a head in one of these angles. Okay guys, so notice that as I'm drawing the side view, I'm still using the face map and uh, I am drawing my own character that looks a lot like the reference, but I'm using the reference as a guide for me. Um, doing a little shading in Photoshop, having a little bit of fun. And then I draw the woman. Notice that the woman from the brow to the nose, the slope is a lot less harsh. It's more like a swooping line down, you know? Like a little whoop whoop. And uh, yeah, so I decided to have a little bit of fun and uh, age the guy up there a little bit. And I gave her a different hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I will be giving away an Illo sketchbook every month to a random subscriber. So leave a comment, hit the like button, and I will see you on the next one.